Park. Oh. Oh, Miss Foxeaton, I didn't see you there. I just wanted to say it's my day with Lady Maria. I'll get the money from her. She owes me for four weeks. We'll want flowers in the hall, mm -hmm. a pre-dinner quartet. Actually, no. No, we don't need them. It's an unnecessary expense. On the subject of expenses, I was wondering... My nephew is an unattached marquis. People will come, music or not. Emily. Ah, uh, let me organise, Dee. My dear, how kind you are. You met her the last time you were back from India. Oh, I remember. She turns her hand to everything. I'm thinking of taking you on as my secretary, a permanent position. Well, what would she do, exactly? She could write my letters, organise my diary. Oh, Miss Fox Seaton. How nice to see you again. How long are you on leave from the army this time, Lord Walderhurst? For good, I hope. I'm getting too old for these sorties abroad. Where's the list for the dinner party, Emily? <clears throat> the most interesting girls at the top, Annabelle Rivers, American money. Yes. Um, what about Agatha Slade? I didn't even know you'd met her. I saw a portrait of her at the National Portrait Gallery. <laughs> well... I saw that too. She's very fine. Isn't she? Well, they are a good family. I suppose we ought to get an invitation to them straight away. I'll go now. They live in Chelsea. It's rather a long way. Ah, Emily doesn't mind you, dear. I'd be delighted. I don't know what I'm going to say to Mrs. Park. You've got to ask the old lady outright. People take advantage of you. She's thinking of taking me on. A proper position as her secretary. I'd get a steady wage. Oh, miss. You wouldn't have to worry then. That's wonderful. Jane. What is it? Would you live in her house then? Maybe. Why? Mrs. Park's selling up. I was hoping we could look for somewhere together. Selling up? With the money I make, I won't find somewhere respectable like this. Oh, Jane. When does she want us out? Soon, that's the thing. You've got your Lady Maria. <laughs> You're all right. I need two more quail from Lasker's. And Pond's cream from the pharmacy. Oh, and as you're there, there's a prescription to be picked up on my account. I need it to be delivered to this address. Captain 
Thank you. Dinner is ready, Lady Maria. Emily, this is Agatha Slade. Agatha's mother is indisposed. So, you'll take her place at dinner. Me. Good evening. <clears throat> My nephew, Lord Walderhurst. The plus one cards are in the bureau, Emily. Write yourself one. And... Smarten you up. Miss Rivers, tell me about Rhode Island at this time of year. Oh, it's quite beautiful. Is it? Is the it? Weather. Miss Fox Seaton. Uh, uh, Lord Walderhurst. I, uh, I can't bear the American girl. Please, um, help me change the names quickly. Thank you. Are you enjoying the season? The dresses are fun. And I like some of the dances. But the people are so boring and old. Sir, I didn't mean you. Oh, don't worry, Miss Slade. I know exactly what you meant. I don't know it. The Slade child's insipid. She's just... Very young. Unlike the Rivers girl. If you'd sat next to her at dinner, you might have seen her charm. I don't like the girl, and I'm not going to marry her. Well, one of the others, then. Who cares who it is? But it's your duty to marry again and get an heir. Thank you for this evening, Aunt. Good night. Walterhurst! What possessed you to change the Plasmore? You should have come to discuss it with me first. I'm so sorry. I'm going to employ a permanent secretary, full time, so I won't need you anymore. Your wage. Oh, and Emily. My shawl. Miss Fox Seaton, I'm I'm sorry about dropping you into the middle of that. How are you getting home? Walking. Okay. Let me accompany you. How long have you lived here? Since I came to London. The woman I lodge with is a kind, respectable person, as are many of her neighbours. My aunt says that you have well-placed relations in Yorkshire, an aunt and uncle. Yes. So, My why? aunt and uncle have a great deal of children. 
They helped me with my education, but they were unable to do more. And your parents? My father was an engineer. Not grand or rich, but my mother fell in love with him. Her family cut her off. He was killed in an accident in a factory. She died two years later. I'm sorry. I was very young when it happened. I rather envy you. No family or ties, responsible to nobody, properly independent. <laughs> What's so amusing? Believe me, independence can be wearing. You do not have to accompany me any further. No, I'm sorry, I've offended you. No. I'm, I'm just fatigued. Your situation's difficult, and so is mine. As you know, I have to marry for the sake of the family. Now, I need a sensible woman, intelligent enough to understand what marriage to me would require. Someone who gains mutual benefit from the arrangement. You'll find a wife, Lord Walderhurst. Someone who you properly esteem. Will you marry me? Don't tease me, please. No, I... I've been thinking about this all night. You know what I need from this marriage, not like with these, these other girls. You're pragmatic. You would require little from me. I'm not a difficult man. A little stuck in my ways, maybe, but not demanding or, or cruel or, or even unpleasant, I, I don't believe. I'd leave you alone You'd have wealth, and you'd have true independence. No. Yeah. Um... If I may say... What are your options? It wouldn't be right. Why not? I always imagined that I'd marry for love. Love is all very good. What about security? are bad around here. How far is the house from the nearest village? Ten miles. We're rather isolated. You don't mind, do you? Oh, no.
upholstery. When I've been away and I come back like this, it feels like time has stood still. This is my butler, Mr. Lytton, and my housekeeper, Mrs. Lytton. Miss Fox Seaton is to be your new mistress. I'm sure you'll make her very welcome. Oh. Ladyship. This way. With this ring, I thee wed. With my body, I thee worship. And with all my worldly goods, I thee endow. cousin, Captain Osborne, and his new wife. Your aunt asked me to deliver medicine to him. So this is Paul Street's new mistress. Congratulations. Hello, Alec. Mrs. Osborne. Please call me Hester. I hear you've been an exceptional nurse. You've been ill, Captain Osborne. Malaria. It, it's passed. Well, congratulations again, sir. You didn't tell me you'd invited them? You didn't tell me you'd paid for his medicine. I did, too. Alec could bleed a stone dry. Was Captain Osborne in the regiment? All the men in the family joined the regiment. <laughs> Until he became ill. He's no longer fit for duty. What will he do now? Is he seeking other employment? The truth is, my nephew is spoiled. He's lived in the expectation of plenty. If Walderhurst has no children, Alec is the heir to Polstry. The house, the titles, everything. It won't do, of course, with this malaria and this wife that he's chosen to bring home. It seems to be a family trait, choosing unsuitable wives. So, you see how important it is that you do your duty. Gentlemen, a toast. Sweethearts and wives. Sweethearts and wives. Well, that went off well. You look very beautiful in that dress. I liked your cousin and his wife. 
Indeed. And I feel for them. The circumstances are difficult. Alec has brought much of it upon himself. When I went to deliver the medicine, the place where they were living was horrible. Don't concern yourself with it, please. Now, I'm sure you need to rest. I'll see you at dinner. Mrs. Lytton, which way to my room? This way, ladyship. I must say, I am domestic-minded, Mrs. Lytton. I am looking forward to the challenges of running such a large establishment. This is you, ladyship. Trapped in the chimney sometimes. Take him to one of the girls, we'll see what we can do for him. I'm sorry, I forget the effect this house has on people when they first come here. The room does have its charms, though. It's a secret priest hole. Troops searched the house during the Civil War. And the only air is from that grill. And the priest hole links the two bedrooms. The air's very close in here.
The, the water is deep in some places, shallow in others. The shelves are treacherous. There are sinkholes. I insist all my staff learn how to swim. I'm afraid... I don't know how to swim. I'll teach you. How did you learn to play like that? Your aunt told me. I had to let her win. Huh. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. No, I just wasn't expecting it. We should change for dinner. Let us not keep Mrs. Lytton waiting. You know, I've been thinking, perhaps we'll just go if you a little bit of darning. <laughs> Good morning, ladyship. I'm sorry to disturb. Mr. Lytton, where has Lord Waldhurst gone? Ashbourne. And then he's inspecting the estate for the rest of the day. He said to tell you to be back late afternoon. Well, then. This is a good day for you and I to explore the house, Mrs. Lytton. Oh, not today. It's my laundry day. I could help you. No need to bother yourself. Emily, what are you what are you doing here? What, what is this place? Come on, we should go back. There's something important I have to tell you. There's famine in India. The regiment is in dire need of senior men. You're not going back there, are you? You are going back. If the Indian people mutiny, the regiment will require every experienced officer they can find. You've only just got back. You told me you were seeking retirement. This is about family honor. You do understand, don't you? Take me with you, then. That's not possible. I'm sorry. 
Your first wife. Do you mind if you tell me about her? She was a childhood friend. We grew up together. I haven't forgotten her. But I no longer mourn for her. Are you going today? Now. You're going now. I'm sending this to my bank to instruct that you can take out any money you require. I know that we have started our married life in an unusual fashion, but I... I hope and... and I believe that we... we have grown to enjoy one another's company. You're left-handed. <laughs> yeah. I'm... I write everything upside down and back to front. Do you realize this is the first time I've seen your handwriting? I have a favor to ask you. Anything? A friend of mine from London, Jane. I would like her to come here to be my lady's maid. Of course. Contact her immediately. In the meantime, let the Littons guide you. He knows me and the house. He's loyal. Will you write to me?
Dear James, I hope this letter finds you well in India. All is well at Polstree, but we miss you. I miss you. Ladyship, there are visitors. Please forgive the intrusion. I got the letter and decided to come immediately. My cousin's been worrying about you. Alec, while I'm away in India, can you ensure that all is well at Pulstree? And that my new wife wants for nothing? How kind of him. How are you faring? Well, thank you. But we have been quiet since Lord Walderhurst left. It is good to have company. The Osbournes are staying for lunch. Tell Mrs. Lytton, please. Hmm. I see Lytton's lost none of his charm. Sorry. He's rather a rule unto himself. He's known me since I was a child. He still talks to me like I'm in knickerbockers. <laughs> I hope he treats you with more respect. I think we'll have another one of these, Lytton. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Lytton. Thank you. Close the door after you, will you? If you let him get the upper hand, you're in trouble. He's a bully. Always has been. He was vile to me when I first came to live here. I messed up his precious house. I felt the back of his hand, I can tell you. But I want to forget about those times. Here I am, with my beautiful wife, who doesn't mind where I bring mud in. And you. A wonderful addition to the family. To us. To us. To us. Oh, victory! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we got there in the end. You must go. Stay in Ashbourne. Don't risk the road at night. Stay. It would be so lovely for me. I'll get your suitcases collected from the village. One, two, three, four. Emily, I can five, see you peeking. Six. Last one to find me is a sardine. <laughs> Eight, nine, forty-seven, forty-eight, This is a nice 
recipes. Try it. cartridges in these cylinders. Look between the barrels. That's how you aim. Now all you have to do is press the trigger. My uncle. James's father taught me how to shoot when I was a boy. Did James warn you off me? No. Of course not. I never expected to get Paul's string. I always knew he'd remarry at some point and produce hairs. And how he expects to do it with an ocean between your cotton eyes. Jane! Miss... <laughs> you came! I had almost given up on you. <laughs> so, you were a dresser in a theatre? Yes. At the Theatre Royal in Drury Lane. Jane has worked for some very well-known actresses. I'm sure she has. But Polstree is nevertheless rather a change. I just want to be with Miss Fox Seaton. I mean, <laughs> Lady Walderhurst. I just want to serve her. It's so lovely to have you here. <clears throat> Especially as Lord Walderhurst is absent. I know he is, miss. It's the Illustrated London News. Lord James Walderhurst docks in Bombay and returns to his regiment to bring succour and encouragement to his men. <laughs> <laughs> well! <laughs> isn't that wonderful news? <laughs> I dare you. Let's go further out. So, no, I won't. You can't swim, can you? Your cousin was teaching me, but I'm still rather nervous. You're very brave to go in at all. <laughs> I've been reading about India and how disease almost inevitably follows famine, is it true? I'm afraid so. Alec, is he in danger? He shouldn't have gone. Then he is. Not so soon after marrying you. Walderhurst has a strong constitution. He'll come back. Mr. Lytton's a strange old stick, isn't he? What's he doing being a butler in a grand place like this? His family has always worked here. As for Mrs. Lytton, she's not exactly friendly. But the girls are nice enough. Jane, I think I might be pregnant. I feel different and I haven't had my monthly bleeding. Oh, miss! <laughs> you mustn't tell anyone until I'm sure. Osborne's temperature is very high. Is he going to make us all poorly? Well, this would be happening if you had not invited them to stay. That's enough, Mr. Lytton. Go to the ice house and get as much ice as you can. Mabel and Ivy will help you. We'll hurry up.
How is he? Every time it takes him, it gets worse. What if he dies? What will I do? Surely the regiment. The reason the regiment dismissed him was me. If anything happens to Alec, you must stay here with me. You're so good to me. I hope you don't mind, but I've asked my old Aya Mira to come down here. She's a marvelous nurse, and I know she'll make Alec better. Go back to bed, Memstein. But Hester... Mr. Osborne is not himself. I will not leave him alone with her. Mabel's threatening to leave. She thinks Captain Osborne's going to come and kill us in oh. our beds. He's a danger to himself, not to us. I'll talk to Mabel. Jane, you're so clever. <laughs> I'm not showing at all. When are you going to tell people? Not till Captain Osborne gets better. <laughs> Now's not the time. Amira, I didn't see you there. What can I do for you? Captain Osborne is awake. You mean he's... More himself. Oh, that's wonderful news. Miss Hester asked for a book to read to him. Take this. Mabel and Ivy think she's a witch. Mr. Lytton doesn't help. He's always saying his lordship wouldn't want the Osbournes here. Oh, he's quite wrong. Look. Alec, while I'm away in India, can you ensure that all is well at Palstrey and that my new wife wants for nothing? Jay Walderhurst. Show this to him. <laughs> he thinks he knows Lord Walderhurst upside down and back to front. Lordship this and Lordship that. <laughs> Upside down and back to front. Upside down and back to front. You don't mind if I borrow one of your horses, do you? No one rides that horse but his lordship. If he's well enough to ride, he's well enough to leave. Lord Walter Hurst asked me to look after you. I must leave. I must go.
We'll go. The old man hates us. Hester, I need to talk to you about... about this. Lord Walderhurst didn't write it, did he? The bailiffs were hounding us for money. We thought if we could stay here for a time, things might get better. It is impossible to survive on Alec's income. Is it any surprise that sometimes dark moods take him? Don't judge him. He is not himself. And I love him so much. We'll go. We'll leave. No. Let me think. Let me work something out. My father used to bring me up here. He enjoyed the solitude. So do I. You shouldn't wander all over the estate on your own. I came up here for a reason. Hester has told me of your financial situation. Has she? Alec, I was thinking you and Hester could live here. It could solve everything. Of course, I don't know what your plans are. They certainly don't include squatting in a hovel like this. There's going to be a storm. Come on, I'll take you back. I'd rather walk. I'll take you back. Alec! on the horse with me. She fainted. Give her to me. My baby. Is it... Is it home? Your baby? Her ladyship is expecting. I'm so sorry. I never thought you were with child. I would never have put you on a horse. I must get Dr. Lawrence. Dr. Lawrence is an old country quack. We need someone from London. There's no need. Amira will know what to do. I'll take that to my mistress. What is it? It's just cinnamon and milk. How oh, does she know what's right for a baby? I'll go to the village to fetch Dr. Lawrence. We must take care of this child. Well, go on, get that up to her ladyship. Osborne. I'm just taking this up to my mistress. She's very lucky to have you, Jane.
Dear James, I am pregnant, which is a great surprise. I am very pleased. I know it is what you wanted, your loving Emily. You're up. Hmm. I woke early. And you're dressed. I've spent many years dressing myself, and I've hardly forgotten how to do it. I've written to Lord Walderhurst to tell him about the baby. And now I'm going to walk to the post box and post it myself. Miss, are you sure you're well enough? I've never felt better. Mrs. Lytton. Ladyship. Where are you going? To stay with my daughter. I can't be here. Not now. I understand how hard this is for you. But if you could just stay until I find new butler and housekeeper. I can't. Mr. Lytton, so much a part of this old place. Everything reminds me of him. What will I do without you? Mabel and Ivy are leaving too. What? Well, I've tried to persuade them to stay on, but they won't. They're scared. I'm sorry, ladyship. I truly am. Mr. Lytton died in such strange circumstances. I wish you were here to help. Your loving Emily. This is the advertisement I've written for a housekeeper and mates. Alec will ride into Ashbourne with it today. Mm. He can take that too, why not? Do it. You should be in bed. Got a call that day. Why was Mr. Lytton out there in the cart? What was he doing? Who knows? Where's Alec? Shooting pheasant in the wood. It's a little different.
checkmate. Let's play a decider. If you don't mind, I might go to bed. Of course. Hey, quite well. I just stood up too quickly. Sit down. Amira, let me lock the doors. Why are we locking the doors? I don't see the need. We have no servants. Anyone could walk in. You wouldn't want that, would you, Emily? I did. Was it the post? No. No post. Why is he not replying to my letters? He asked me to write to him. Emily, I've been thinking. You shouldn't be on your own at night. What if you were taken ill and nobody heard you call out? You haven't been yourself. I am quite myself. No, Emily. You're not. We should move into the room next to yours. I won't allow it. That is Lord Walderhurst's room. It's what he would want. I know my cousin. He would do anything to make sure that the baby and you keep well. It's just an Indian dish. Oh, Emily. let them go next door. I can hardly breathe as it is. Everywhere I am, they are. One of them always watching me. No, miss. They're looking after you. It's sensible. He makes everyone do what he wants. You're not well, madam. Come on, let's get into bed. Take this. Go on. He's in control now, Mr. Lytton. I don't know why you don't trust him. He's a good man. Oh, no. No. I'm on my own in this big old house, stuck in the middle of nowhere. There was a telegram for her in the village. Who's it from? 
Who do you think? My ship has docked in Southampton, returning all speed, Walderhurst. Why? I don't know. But he is. I mean, he suspects. I'm sure she does. Mira thinks she stopped drinking the tonic, otherwise the baby would be gone by now. We'll make her excuses and leave. I'm not leaving this house. It's mine. It's not. We tried. We failed. There's two of them and three of us. Don't worry about Jane, she'll do what I say. What are you talking about? We must do it now. No. I won't do this. You won't help me. You listen to me. I've given up everything for you. And if we don't see this through, we will hang Fulton's death. Hang! You understand me? We need to put an end to her tonight. You understand? Yes. <laughs> Why are we stopping? The mayor's lane, sir. There's a coach house a mile back. We could stay the night. Find a change of horses. Will that be all, your ladyship? I need to talk to you. Lord Walderhurst is back in the country. Captain Osborne tried to burn it. I retrieved it. Burn it? Why? He wants to be master here. He will do anything to achieve it. I believe he killed Mr. Lytton. They are planning something. Terrible. Against me. Tonight. We must go. Leave now. You follow us. Well, then what are we going to do? Let me go to the village. And I'll get help. What is it? Rabbit. You're not eating? I don't feel well. says that Jane is not helping in the kitchen. Jane's ill. She's in bed. Stay in the house to look after you and Hester. I think 
wash your bed. You don't need to be afraid of me. Keep away from me. Away or I'll shoot. I will. You will be 
feel nothing. It is a good death. Lord Walderhurst. Where's Emily? Why are you here? She's... Who's that? My servant. We have all been looking after Emily. She ill? Tell me. I'm sorry, Your Lordship, but the Mem Saiba is dead. She had a fever of the blood. We tried everything to make her better, but today she passed. What the hell happened to you? You're bleeding, for God's sake. I fell. Alex gone to Ashbourne to make the funeral arrangements. Come into the drawing room. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Where is she? I want to see, I need to see. I need to see her. Where is she? I'm so sorry. There's nothing to be sorry for. You were a friend to her. What? What is it? She's upstairs. You can still save her. Get away from her! Get away! Emily? Is dead. I've sent Hester and her servant back to India. No one will harm you ever again. I shouldn't have left you. I shouldn't have left you. Emily, Emily, I need you to understand why I couldn't take you with me. I lost everyone I've ever loved out there. My wife Elizabeth died in childbirth. The baby lived for a month. We did everything we could to take care of him. One morning I found him in his cot. It was unbearable. I'd only just found you, I couldn't bear to lose you too. I am so, so sorry. But I'm most sorry that I never 
told you how I felt about you. I felt it always. From the moment I first saw you in my aunt's house and I brought you here, I loved you. I loved you. But still, I didn't tell you. I don't know why. Emily? Emily? You came back. Emily. Oh, my darling. I've got them. What shall I do with them? Eat them up! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on! 